good morning students so in last video we saw the things in your in our classroom or that is reading time the blackboard chalk chair table benches desk books doors windows etc dustbin and many things that that are the things in our classroom so today we are going to see last time we have seen reading skills or reading time we are today we are going to see writing skills okay how we are how how to write okay so picture composition if this is picture composition what is a picture composition this uh, I, i said a picture composition but what is it describing a picture with meaningful sentences hum uh, aapko marathi mein hota hoga aise ki chitra dekh ke usko describe karo ya fir uska vishleshan do to waise hi picture composition it is picture composition that is we have to describe the picture okay with meaningful sentences there is one picture and we have to describe it for so for example there is given one picture and the sentences that are describing to these pictures okay so without wasting any time i'm going to read this and relate this to you so very first sentence is there is a big garden so as you can see in this picture the very first thing is that there is a big garden okay there is a big garden many children are playing in the garden many children are playing in the garden as you can see in this picture there are so many children in the garden and what they are doing they are playing some children are playing hide and seek some children are playing hide and seek as you can see two children are hiding behind a tree and one uh, one child is there and she is seeking she is finding them there are many trees in the garden there are many trees in the garden as you can see in this picture there are birds sitting on the tree there are birds sitting on this tree and there can be many more describing sentences okay for example two children are playing and running and uh, birds are there on the trees the, this is uh, this is the sentence written over the sentence written over there and one we can write the uh, one boy is doing painting and uh, one woman is there as a, there uh, she will be the teacher of this boy she can be the teacher so the boy is showing the painting to his teacher and one girl is sitting one girl is uh, sitting on the swing and she she is swinging on the swing so here we can describe more sentences describe by using more sentences okay there are, there are some only some examples over there so next uh, these these are the picture composition this was the picture composition and there are some sentences describing this picture so next uh, next page is to describe one picture we all know by you seeing this describe picture composition using this sentences we all get to know how to describe a picture or how to use correct sentence on correct picture description means we can see in this picture there is one big garden there are tree, uh, birds sitting on the trees there are children playing there are some children are playing hide and seek one girl is swing on the swing okay and uh, swinging on the swing and one teacher is there and one boy is doing painting of the tree we can describe by seeing the picture and now we have to one describe the picture so as you can see in this picture there is one farmer anyone can tell this is a farm and this uh, this man is a farmer and what else is in this uh, what else is we can see in this picture we will write and i have written over there and you have to just copy it down i am going to describe it i am going to describe it and you have to copy it in your notebook uh, in this picture bhavrav is a farmer he has a small farm there is one sentence there are two sentences given for our help okay so this farmer this is a farmer we all get idea by 
his clothes and uh, and the things in his hands we can, we get idea this is a farmer so his name is bhavrao and bhavrao is a farmer he has a small farm he has a small farm so what else we can see in this picture he has a small farm he has two goats and a bullock he has two goats we can see in this picture there are two goats one goat is here and one goat is in the farm and there are two goats and one bullock is there one bullock is there okay ek bell hai yahan pe aur do bakriyan hai bhavrao ke paas his wife and his daughter help him on the farm his wife is helping him and her daughter is also helping him in the farm bhavrao has an axe in his left hand bhavrao has an axe here you can see in this picture in his left hand bhavrao's left hand there is one axe is there means kulhadi hai uske hath mein there is a spade on the ground he has a turban on his head okay there is a there is a spade on the ground here you can see there is a spade means yahan pe jo tokri type rakha hua hai usko spade bolte hai or then that is your uh, or we can say ye jo faunda type rakha hua hai ye jo kuch bhi avzar yahan pe rakhe hue the spread on the ground spread on the ground he has a turban on his head means uske sar pe jo pagdi bandhi hui hai that is known as turban on his head his uh, daughter is sitting on the ground and feeding a goat his daughter what uh, anyone can tell his daughter is sitting on the ground and feeding the goat his wife is doing some work and his wife is doing some farm work means in short bhavrav is a farmer he has two goats and one bullock his wife and her and his daughter help helps him in the farm bhavrav has an an axe axe in on his left hand and turban on his head and spread on the ground and his daughter is feeding the goat uh, feeding feeding the goat and his wife is doing some work in the farm so this is this was all we can see in the picture so what you have to do you have to write it in your notebook don't draw the picture just only write the description in your notebook you can see picture in the textbook that's why only write the description you can write in your own words also but i have given this for your help i am going to send you a picture along with this video so do complete your homework